PSA Collector. What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to Anthony Sneed. He runs the ABC's Need 123 Sports Card YouTube channel, okay? He started in August. He's already up to 530 subscribers. He's growing pretty quickly. He, he reached out to me, asked me if there's anything I can do to help him grow more organically and faster. Because one of his uh, video topics he does weekly is he promotes smaller YouTubers who are just getting started, okay? He does giveaways and he promotes them. It's a series called Building the Community, okay? He does them each week. He does giveaways on his channel. So definitely go check out the YouTube channel, ABC's Need 123. If you guys have a smaller channel and you wanna like get involved in what he's doing with building each other up, okay? The, the, look for the title, building the community, and comment on those videos, and uh, watch a bunch of his other videos, okay? So he reached out to me, asking me if I had any tips and tricks that I could help him grow. So I'm gonna be covering, essentially, I'm gonna be auditing his channel, and I'm gonna be going over uh, having S SEO optimized titles, having good audience retention on your videos, how to get that, utilizing third-party tools like uh, TubeBuddy and vidIQ to improve the performance of your videos and help you uh, add tags to your channel, which is very important. If you guys aren't doing that, I highly suggest you start today. Also guys, I talked to him about the different angles he can take and how doing just box breaks, everybody's doing that. So you have to focus on taking different angles within the hobby. I talk about a lot of things, guys. I talk about how to do find free editing software for your videos and how to find free editing software to create thumbnails and the importance of thumbnails, guys. I also talk about the importance of talking uh, in, front of, in front of the camera on each of your videos because communication is 70% visual, guys, okay? You have to be showing yourself in your videos. So if you guys wanna grow your YouTube channel, guys, I highly suggest you invest 10, 20, 30 minutes into this video. I have lots and lots of tips and tricks, guys. These steps are super easy. Any, you, anybody can start doing them and they're gonna help promote your channel instantaneously, okay? So invest the time, watch the video, check it out, comment below, let me know what you guys think. And um, I'll be looking, I'll be reaching out to other YouTubers and doing these kind of vid, these channel audits to help you guys grow what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and ways to improve your channel, okay? So I'm excited to do this series. Uh, and without any further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and jump into this video. So how long have you been doing YouTube? I started in uh, August of last year. That's that's relatively recent. You're already up to 528 subscribers, huh? Yeah. Very good. Let's, let's go ahead and pull up your channel. Okay. All right. So ABC is in one, two, three. Your videos you have. Let's see. Now you got a bunch. Yeah, I've been, I stream quite often too as well. I stream three times a week, so uh, mostly doing breaks. Yeah, on top of this, other videos, I, I try to post in between those as well. Now let's go ahead. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much just going to run through and evaluate your channel like I would anybody else. So I'm going to start by the most popular. So your most popular video, Jab's Family. Wow, okay, 4.4, 4,400 views. With, oh, you did the Jab's Family patch, Patreon package. Cool, okay. Yeah, that was uh, when I was... First started, uh, you know, I actually got into YouTube and got back into collecting. That was uh, the first channel I saw, and I uh, joined his Patreon and actually bought into a break. And I had a uh, Hank Aaron autograph 10 of 10 out of one of his breaks. Really uh, nice. Yeah, so that's uh, that huge hit. That's what that was. I've seen a lot of uh, other YouTubers do videos on, on his Patreon packages and saying, like, why I'm quitting Jab's family and stuff. And that's how that's how they get a lot of traction to their channel. So, I yeah. mean... It looks like what you're doing is positive, which is a good thing. I don't like when I see the. I don't like when the guys do negative things or they're, you know, they try to talk about him because they're just trying to get people to their channel. But you're doing a positive thing, which is cool. Patreon videos, which is evidently it's all all these jabs are your are your, are your biggest hits. Um, yeah, I mean it was. I mean also he's got a big following, so it's uh you type yeah, in jabs yeah. and it, it follows up, yeah. it follows up. So, so uh, that's. Uh, one of the things I want to cover with you right now is if you want to get people to your videos, the titles are imperative. You have to have searchable titles, which you may, you may already know this. Yeah. So for instance, it, break time, this video right here, come grab yours and hang out. That video title applies to your subscribers only because nobody else is really looking break time for those, for that kind of video. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So do you, uh, are you familiar with SEO at all? No. Like SEO, it's it's search engine optimization. 
essentially it's putting titles, tags, and description in your videos that people are searching, which will put your video in front of them. So, um, if you want to, if you want people, if you want to increase your chances of getting people to watch your video, I would maybe change that uh, title to whatever you were doing in the video. Um, come grab yours. And I didn't watch this video. Dang, it's four hours long. Wow. It's a stream, yeah. So some of my streams are pretty long. So, okay. So that's a. I mean, that's a great way to start out. Just keep <clears throat> keep streaming your content, and uh, YouTube will continue to show it as long as it's optimized so let's take a look at it Lex, you know i'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to your channel and uh turn the notifications on so here we go comments oh you got you got one you, you replied to that comments is and when you're when you're just starting out you have to make sure to reply to every single comment and give it a heart a lot of guys don't know that the importance of it especially when you're a small channel so i would go ahead uh reply to as many comments as possible and um hard them give, give hearts to the ones that are like you know go go the extra mile and, and they're like great video man i loved it you, you know i like the this card that card or whatever because the community they, they really appreciate that and i remember when i was wasn't a big youtuber i was just going out and commenting on people's channel channels and they commented back it meant the world to me so that's yeah. why i make sure to comment on, on as many videos as possible you know the bigger you get the harder it is but like I make sure like if we're going on a long family road trip or something my wife's driving and i'm commenting you know and, and responding to stuff so it's very imperative to just simply write a uh, you know thanks for watching or thanks for stopping by uh also i'm seeing over here there's no video tag on this channel on this video so it, it, this is all seo I'm, I'm trying to like just throw down your throat right now it's a, it's a lot of fun more. so okay cool so right so <clears throat> You, you're not going to see this on your channel because this is a paid thing. This it's only five dollars a month. I pay for this. It's called TubeBuddy, and what TubeBuddy does and VidIQ. I pay ten dollars for VidIQ and I paid five dollars for TubeBuddy. And what it does is it shows me how the, the performance of my my video and what I can do to improve the, the performance. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up one of my videos, my recent video. Let's just look at the uh, the analytics or nope. I'm gonna do that. Let's look at the details. So you should see this screen in your back end on your on your channel, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're you're gonna want to go to that pencil, the, the details. And what I'm talking about as far as the SEO, so all the, the, the description of the video, it needs to be filled out. Um, well, you did a good job. Okay, so cool. You, you got that. If you have Instagram, put the links in there. Um, if you have Facebook, put the links, Twitter, put the links. And if you don't have those accounts, I highly suggest at least starting with Instagram. Do you have an Instagram account? I actually just started one uh, last week, so I've not really played around with it yet. I'm still, uh, nice. I'm not a social media guy, so I got to no. figure that stuff out myself. So it took me, my wife kept nagging at me. She's like, you got to do Instagram. You got to do Instagram. I'm, and I'm like, there's nobody on Instagram collecting sports cards. Well, I, I finally pulled the trigger and started posting on Instagram. Uh, I try to do it daily, however, it's not possible. And then my Instagram just started blowing up. And I also posted, I post when I post a new video on Instagram. So people okay. on Instagram see that new video posted, they know to run to my YouTube and, and go check out the video. So I highly suggest to uh, try to build your Instagram as well. And just a simple uh, picture uh will help and make sure to utilize those tags as well that's a whole a whole different topic on how to do seo and instagram but uh put your instagram um in here and believe it or not people actually come in here and they look at these descriptions okay that's why i make sure to come in here and i even got affiliate links if if uh so when people click on the products and they buy something i i get a commission from that um uh, because i'm promoting the products yeah so that's, that's a whole that's a whole different story as well so put the uh, a, a brief little description in here because YouTube reads all this. Um, check out these. So I put basketball cards, baseball cards. Those are all searchable terms that people are looking for. And in, in, uh, on YouTube, they type in, you know, just baseball cards or whatever. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, second year football cards is a search optimization word. You know, sports card flipping. And if you're having trouble coming up with those keywords, those paid tools that I just showed you, I'm talking about, they yeah. give you all these ideas that you can you can easily come in here and just click on them. And uh, oh, that's sports card investor. Uh, that's, that's, so that's Trey Young. You can click on it. Uh, you know, Donruss Optic. Click on it, and it throws it in there automatically for you. And then it has this little tool over here. It says, you know, it tells you how optimized your video is, and 
and so forth. And this is gonna, this, I did this from the beginning and I'm telling you what, man, it does, it, for the $5 I pay a month, um, it's, it's worth it. So that's what's gonna allow you to optimize it better and get those tags. So when people search on YouTube, so for instance, I, I just did an interview with Buster on Hoops Nation and he put my name in the, uh, the title of the video. So when you search PSA Collector, now YouTube, they put the most recent videos that are posted. So let's say someone searching PSA collector, it should pull, yeah, right there, see? It pulled that his video up because it has my name in it. Okay. Even though I didn't make, even though I didn't make the video, I mean, I'm in the video, so, but he's, get, <laughs> he's getting that, uh, that tag and it's a brand new video. And that's probably the same thing that happened with Jab's family. So let's type in Jab. So let's see how many videos of these aren't Jab's family. Oh, that, right there. Why I'm quitting Jab's family from throw pack cards. You got yeah. 20,000 views. Wow. And you only had a hundred or 1000 subs. So that gave him, got him a lot of traction. Now that doesn't mean that all your videos should have like Jab's family in it and stuff or be about Jab's family yeah. or big channels, but let's just type in baseball cards uh, and see what happens. See what kind of YouTube is going to recommend the most, for the most part, recent videos. See, these are all brand new videos. Except for that one, that's just, that's my video. It's just a very highly viewed video. So YouTube is recommending it. And th these are my videos. Uh, this one's brand new. So Les Alex, I think, yeah, he's a new guy. 627 subs, top five best PSA 10. Th see this title, it's optimized. Ve very good optimized. Uh, let's go ahead and see if he optimized it further. Like his intro. Also, another thing I was gonna talk to you about. So yep, these are all his video tags that he used. So he optimized it. And then his, his his channel, you can also put tags on your channel, which is a um, pretty easy to do as well. You can do in the back end. So if he keeps doing what he's doing, he, he's gonna have naturally organic growth. So that's why that's what I suggest. You did, you did an okay job. You did a pretty good job actually. So 2019 Pops Archives, Bowman Chrome Break. That's a good optimization, optimized title. Thursday Night Breaks, that's, for, that's gonna be for your only, your subscribers only. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube won't really recommend it. I mean, it's just tough. It's tough to say. It's all, it's all about experimenting, exper experimenting. Um, but yeah. for the most part, man, you, you're doing what you're doing, what it takes to uh, be successful, which is posting consistently. I would honestly suggest maybe trying to reduce this four minute, this four hour video down to a, a, see these 20, 23 minute videos, eight minutes. These are your most successful. I would mm -hmm. try to make them no longer than 20 minutes i know you said you're live streaming yeah so the live streams i mean i can go through and i guess i gotta edit the live stream cut it down um to some of the big hits from the stream because normally yeah. in a four hour period most of that is all it's opening the cars for four hours so there's yeah. uh, a, few, a few breaks in between so you can do that or you can leave them up and just continue to uh you, you know kind of change your strategy around going forward like focus focus on what to do next as opposed to what you already did like don't yeah. don't, don't worry about changing the old content because that in itself would be you know time consuming mm -hmm. i would say going forward try to do, make the videos under 20 minutes if at, at all possible um if it has to be two hours long then it has to be two hours long uh, however you want to make sure that people are watching your video as long as possible and when YouTube sees that, it's going to recommend the video more. So what I mean by that is, let's go ahead and go back to my channel and I'm going to show you the watch time. Watch time needs to be as high as possible, I guess. So I'm going to pull up the analytics from my most recent video. And you can see right here, the audience retention. This is kind of healthy. If it stays above 50% throughout the duration of the video, that means people are watching it. And YouTube is going to see that and say, okay, I'm going to keep recommending this until that audience retention rate goes down. So if you have four hours of uh, video, the audience retention is probably going to be super low unless people are watching it the entire four hours. One of my videos that I did, that I learned that from, so this is 38 minutes long and you'll see, see how that dips? So yeah. 12, 12.6% 12 of the video was watched. Only people watch on average are about five minutes. YouTube sees that and then it's, they stopped recommending it as much. So, I mean, they're still recommending it or maybe people are just finding organically. However, uh, it's not the best performing because I don't know, maybe I was boring or something. <laughs> but, uh, you just gotta keep that in mind. You gotta, you gotta, the longer you can keep people watching. So if you have a 10 minute video and people are watching on average eight to nine minutes, YouTube's gonna keep recommending that. But if they watch it on average, you know, five minutes, YouTube won't recommend it because uh, now if your minute, if your video is five minutes long and they watch it five minutes, it's gonna blow up. 
Okay, so that's the percentage of it, so. Yeah, the audience retention is super important. So that's why I said 20 minutes, because for the most part, people are gonna be bored after 20 minutes and they're gonna bounce and go do something else. Um, unless it's, you're watching like a movie or something, you know? So that would be my question is work on them, get work on getting them under 20, if at all possible. You know, make your titles SEO optimized and then add tags and even add channel tags. Okay. Now, as far as editing software, what do you use a certain editing, editing software or the same thing that you recommend? I use Adobe. Uh, yeah, and Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, you know, Photoshop and Illustrator for my thumbnails. However, if you're just trying to figure out how to do simple editing, YouTube has an editing software with that embedded inside of it. Have you used yeah, that? Yeah, I've used that. It's, uh, it's, it's all right. It's decent, but I think I can do more with a, a better better program so if you want to do uh, let's do free editing software top three best free e video editing software that's what that's where i would start this guy right here man he, he has a lot of good videos this justin brown i've learned a lot from him as far as you know my audio and stuff so a simple youtube search and it's going to show you the, uh, the editing software that you, they're going to use to edit your videos uh, to make it more interesting because all my videos i edit and it's very important to keep the users engaged and excited about the video and so i highly recommend chopping up the boring parts and just keeping the exciting parts it, it, it's going to take a little bit of a uh, you know have a, like a little bit of a learning curve to mm -hmm. understand but it's not that hard once you sit down buckle in and like knock it out in like an hour or two you'll be golden and you don't need to do any fancy graphic stuff like like i have a lot of guys ask me how do i create those graphics don't worry about that Jazz family doesn't do that. Packers Cars 87 doesn't do that. Pac-Man, they don't do any of that, the fancy stuff. So if I were you just worry about the simple basic edits, the cuts, break up the, bo the boring spots, keep the audience engaged in the video. And it's also gonna allow your video to be shorter when you're breaking up like those silent pauses and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, I, like I said, I use the Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects, which, uh, it's, it's going to take a longer time to learn those softwares and it's, it's not necessary. Um, there's, to, there's tons of free software out there that's cheap, they're free and really easy to use. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to use YouTube, which I really don't recommend it, unless you're on your, a phone, I think a, you, on the phone it's a lot, it's not that bad. Uh, but I, I don't have the patience to edit videos on the phone anyway. Yeah, me neither. And then, so also the same thing applies to your thumbnail. So a lot of them, they're enticing, like you show photos of the cards. However, it could be better. Um, and that's okay. the same, the same thing would apply would, would be YouTube thumbnail uh, maker, I guess, right there. YouTube thumbnail maker. I think it's called, here we go. YouTube thumbnails for free, best apps, for YouTube thumbnails. This guy right here, Justin Brown. I'll watch his video. He's going to teach you exactly what you need to do. Actually, he does. I, I watched that video and, and, and the, the program that he uses is super easy. Uh, what you're going to want to do is make the thumbnails have text on them. Just like that. And you're going to want to take a photo of yourself. Uh, and I highly suggest, man, it, at the beginning of your videos, trust me, dude, a lot of sports car YouTube channels are doing this that are brand new and they're 70 percent of communication is, is visual so yep. that the audience they need to see you and i understood that when i first started my youtube channel i understood that all those guys out there uh, the older guys that had their youtube channels they weren't showing their faces so i was like all i got to do is show my face and you know engage in the audience like one on one and people are gonna want to follow you and subscribe to you more so i highly suggest at bare minimum at the beginning of your videos just do a you know take your phone and record and play what's going on guys it's oh shoot it's it's anthony uh, abc's the one two three today we're going to be breaking open a 2019 tops archive baseball card set be like i'm super excited to open this uh the odds of pulling a mickey mantle or whatever are one in 300 and you know and, and then maybe some other information keep it excited keep it short but keep it, you know, um, personal to where people are like, yeah, I like this guy. He has, I like his passion and I like his, the fact that he's shown his face. I know what he looks like, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and that's going to go a long way, man. I'm telling you, a lot of guys don't feel comfortable with that, but I didn't feel comfortable with that. And eventually you will, it's going to come to second nature. And, uh, I, I feel like with the consistency of your videos, you're going to be growing even faster than you already are. I do it in every single one of my videos. What's going on, guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com, back with another video, you know? And guys, whenever they watch my video, that's what they expect. They expect to see me with my excitement and my enthusiasm and my passion. 
and they, they get excited to watch my videos. They they told me that, and that's how I uh, that's how I know I'm not I'm not fooling myself and just assume that. And they will too with your channel if, is if you do that. You don't you don't I mean you don't have to act like someone you're not. Just act yourself and be, be who you are, and they're gonna pick up on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're already off to a great start, dude. 500 subs in eight months. You do those those small little uh, tips and tricks I, I told you. Yeah, now, as far as the applications you had mentioned, the uh, is the uh, TubeBuddy and VidID. Or IQ. Yep. Is that uh, is there any kind of requirements for that as far as amount of subs? I know some like YouTube has restrictions on the next amount of subs. So nope. Uh, just go search. Let's say Tube Buddy. That's it right there. And they're probably okay. they're gonna have links in the description. I guarantee it to sign up. New to Tube Buddy? Start here. He also has a ton of tutorials on how to you know dive into the the the, uh, the tool there's also there's look at these tools okay so keyword explorer now this is going to apply to your specific channels you're going to pull it you're going to link your channel super easy to do and let's say you want to do a video on you know 2019 tops baseball it's going to tell you the, the the chances of the success of your video so very good if i do a video on that it says i could get a lot of views okay okay so keyword explorer is great there's so many tools in here and um, this guy will show you how to use it. Same thing with the vidIQ. So the vidIQ, this is what it's gonna look like after you sign up. Now this is paid. Um, I have the cheapest option, it's $10. It's gonna give you all these analytics. Okay, it's gonna tell you my audience, my demographics. 95% are men, 5% are women. And it's gonna tell me the best time to post my videos. So the current best time to post my videos is 10 p.m. Okay, so I know. Don't post, you know, at six, eight, uh, what is that? Six, yeah, six in the morning or nine in the morning or 12 in the afternoon. Post, which I know I do if you watch my videos, they're posted after they're, I post between six to nine. And I, I've seen it. I've seen my videos perform really good as opposed to when I was posting at in the 12 in the afternoon or one in the afternoon. So this is a great tool to give you a uh, back end. It's going to tell you that the cut your the countries your audience uh there's so many different things on here and you can even upgrade if you want to upgrade and get other options and there's no minimum requirement you can have zero subs and your channel can be brand new and these guys you, it's still an option so vid iq and at bare minimum i would say two buddy okay i started off with two buddy and then i kind of moved up to vid iq because i i knew my channel had a lot of analytics i needed to filter through and i was too lazy so i signed up for them so definitely do two buddy Okay. And uh, get familiar with it. And it, it, like I said, in the back end, when you when you do your video descriptions and analytics, it's going to give you information that you need to add to your video, like automatically. And you just click that plus button, and then when people search that those terms, your video is going to pop up, just like I did with when I showed you PSA collector or like baseball cards or you know whatever. And if you if you decide to do like double down and do like super specific. Uh, this is why I tell people to answer questions in their YouTube videos, like how to submit the PSA. When you back in the back before I, everybody was doing it, nobody had a video on how to submit the PSA. Maybe one or two people did. So I made the video on it. So whenever anybody searched it, my video popped up. So that's how people, my channel essentially blew up was because I made, I was answering questions that people were searching for that nobody else had answered. So if you come up with any questions, that you have that, that hasn't been answered go ahead and make a video on it i mean it, all all the videos don't have to be you know box breaks or baseball card specific or whatever uh if you think outside the box and and you say hey that'd be a good that'd be a good video idea i'm gonna go ahead and knock it out and, and you know just see what happens uh you know what i mean or showing off your collection or you know showing how you ship cards or how you like to receive cards everybody has their own like world of sports cards that they live in that they like to do that some other guys never even knew that's um you know that was a good way to do it so like i said there's all different kinds of video topics and stuff to do and uh if you answer questions that's a great way to get your videos found quickly and get that subscription base built which will allow your videos to grow a lot faster once you post them that's super important it's called view velocity so whenever your video posts if you have a lot of people coming to it or clicking on the thumbnail and watching it youtube is going to recommend it more and more and more so that's why some of my videos 
have 11,000 views, 9,000 views. This one only had 3.4 because not many people were clicking on it. So YouTube stopped recommending it. However, everybody loves my low hanging fruit videos. So everybody was clicking on it. YouTube saw that. So it just kept, keep, keeps recommending it until, until people just stop watching it. And uh, it, the popularity goes down. One thing I always, I've always i been doing here recently is trying to find a way to give back to some of the other smaller channels. And I'm still small myself, uh, but the, people just now starting out, just been following me. So, you know, I started this whole thing last, or two weeks, two weeks ago, called Build the Community. Where basically, I was going in and I'm posting a video up on Sunday. Say, hey, go to this person's channel, click on this video, subscribe to their channel, leave a comment in that video. And every Thursday during my live stream, I pull a uh, random comment from that uh, that video and uh, give something away to somebody. Two minutes, 35 seconds. See, th okay, perfect. This is gonna be a perfect example. This video, like I said, start off. Hey guys, you know, whatever you feel like saying that makes you feel comfortable. Today's episode, build a community. Also, the thumbnail. You're, you, we're gonna get you a thumbnail that says build a community that you're gonna use whenever you do one of those. So people know when they come to your channel to look for those types of thumbnails. Okay. Okay. So uh, make a custom looking build the community series thumbnail. Uh, the beginning of the video, quick intro, self introduction, and <clears throat> and then um, you know edit it, edit that video to cut from the introduction to the the view. That I'm going to call this the hand view. Maybe start experimenting with some throwing some graphics. Doesn't have to be fancy. Just mm -hmm. graphics on the screen. Maybe a screenshot of the person's YouTube channel. A screenshot of, you know, one of their, like I do a lot of my videos, I'll show you screenshots of my channel or whatever. And it, it gives that it, people that visual and it keeps them um, enter, entertained. So it keeps them wanting to watch. The, the, those little things, those little graphics and stuff goes a long way. And you, you see that in a lot of YouTube videos that they'll have, they'll throw a graphic in the front of the screen. And that'll keep people engaged. It, like it triggers something in their in our heads, our attention, that keeps us watching. It's just it's weird how the the human mind works. So, like I said, this, now this is this is going to be a slow process that it, eventually you're, you're going to be getting better and more comfortable with one or, one or two graphics. That's all. That's all you need. You don't you don't need much. Do do exactly like I said. Do a screenshot of the channel that you're promoting. Do the intro, do the custom thumbnail, and you're going to get more and more people to these types of videos. Now, not, not right off the bat, but eventually people are going to start keeping their eye out for these. And yep. uh, other channels that you're promoting are going to appreciate that as well. And that's what I'm trying to do as well. I'm trying to, you know, help other people tr grow their channels because something I feel like I got good at and I kind of want to show everybody else how easy it is mm -hmm. and how easy it can be as long as do these small little things if everything went well well in this video as far as recording i'm going to repost this and hopefully get, get you some traction in your video which in the end in, re in return we'll get these other guys tractions yeah i got quite a few folks that especially during the live streams will show up during the live streams we're trying to promote the channel i try to help them out during the live streams but uh there's an the average between 20 and 30 people during the live stream so not a real big live stream but uh it does help a few folks grow um so it is helping a little bit not a whole lot but it is helping a little bit so yeah, that little bit, that little tiny bit, little growth goes a long way when it's compounded. Compounded. What uh, another thing a lot of guys are failing to understand, which I kind of realized this the other day, is everybody wants to start, start their own channel now. They're like, okay, I'm going to start doing it, and then they start doing it, but they don't understand. It's number one. It's it's it, it was competitive kind of when I started. Now it's even more competitive because more and more people are doing it each and every day i'm seeing new guys search their channels so it's going to be more and more competitive we, we we need to remind uh everybody that what do you what are you doing this for are you doing this channel for fun and you know like a hobby and just you know late laid back or are you doing this channel to compete and eventually be monetized and make money off of these because <laughs> you, you can make a lot of money it, you know once you get to your channel is monetized. Yeah. So that's one thing that I'm trying to figure out with within the community. Are you guys doing this, trying to do this just for fun and you know chill, or are you trying to be competitive and be because uh, uh, we're all eventually we're going to be all competing for views. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. and at the same time because so many people can only watch so many uh, sports card shows, and so it's 
it, it's a, I mean, it's it's not. There, there's more and more people entering the hobby. Yes. However, there's more and more people starting channels. So it. It, it's just a, a, a thing I kind of remind uh, people when they ask. I'm like, you got, hey, if, as long as you stay persistent, be committed, and you do the things I'm telling you to do, you will grow. Okay, and it's not easy by any means. So uh, don't over, like, don't overwork yourself, and don't overstress because I, I've, I've been there, and it's uh, I, I had to stop. Like I have to take those those moments and stop because I'm like, I got to I got to get another video going because if you don't post a video, your views start going down. And you know, you see, you see all these other channels coming out and starting, and they're getting views. And you're like, shoot, I gotta post another video. So I gotta keep reminding myself that I started for fun. Okay, I, I wasn't trying to get, you know, I wasn't trying to be PSA collector with twenty thousand subscribers. I was just, just doing this for fun. And then I saw the, uh, the the growth really quick. Now, now when I mean compete, I mean be a competitor as as far as being diligent with your, you know, your scheduling and your willingness to grow and learn how to grow and learn you know different things and tips and tricks and stuff not competing with other youtubers because uh like i said in that one video there people are subscribed to multiple channels and everybody has their own little different angle and that's another thing i'm trying to stress to people is find your a different angle a lot of guys are wanting to just start a, a box breaking video and a lot of guys are already doing that like so mm -hmm. i say try to figure out a, a different angle to now, don't get me wrong. I love doing box breaks and I highly suggest everybody does it in their video, but just don't do that and that only. You, you understand? Yeah. So like like you're doing with the building the series community or building the community, I haven't seen anybody else doing this, which I think is a great angle for you. Uh, maybe build your channel on uh, continuing what you're doing, but also maybe focus more heavily on the uh, promoting and growing other YouTubers, you know? So maybe... Mm -hmm trying to think the tips i taught you or showed you and seeing the growth yourself and then mm -hmm. sharing it with other guys and helping them grow which you know it's i don't know man i'm no expert i'm just talking on my ass and uh, it's very it, I'm, I'm still i'm still struggling with you know having all these guys come you know ask me questions and stuff because for the most part I, I lucked out and just grew uh, overnight. So I'm not an expert and whatever you feel in your gut that's right and what you should do, that's what you should do. I'm just sh sharing with you what I did that helped me grow, I think. I'm just trying to help everybody else out and grow. If you build a channel now and you, you keep grinding and going and growing, and the, who knows what's, what it's gonna be like in five, 10 years, you know? Your channel, you could have, hundred thousand subscribers making ten thousand a month like those are the num numbers i'm expecting you know within five years yeah so and I, especially with the the the, the, the explosion of the, the the sports cards yeah that's kind of been my whole thing is just it's um monetizing that, that was the main reason for that also that's a goal for a lot of people and the reason for yeah. that is i enjoy doing card breaks i mean i, I got a full-time job that's that's how long i've don't plan on leaving a full-time job that I have. A, it's really a really good job. So, but the, uh, yeah. I enjoy the aspect of, especially when I was a kid, I mean, this whole thing started when I was, I was a child and took it a childhood ho a hobby and stopped yep. doing it for a long time, got back into it. And some of that nostalgia that was from your childhood, being able to do that as a, uh, as a side gig, as a, as a business, as it's, it's a, great way of thinking about it so and you know when i started this uh last year uh, that was the whole plan i wanted to do breaks and the more money that i have going to the channel obviously that's more cards i could purchase and and you know breaking the uh, breaking cards open up packs and, and different uh boxes and things and uh and that's what, that's what i enjoy the most about the hobby is actually opening up packs like christmas you get a new prison every single time you open up a new pack of cards <laughs> yeah so, dude, I, yep so, and that was kind of the whole idea behind this. And it's, it's, uh, went pretty well when I, when I started the website, I've got the YouTube thing going. So started the business last year, got the LLC and all that stuff. So I went through the whole gamut and uh, now it's just trying to work on in, improving this aspect of it as well. So, and, uh, it's just, you know, take the time out of, out of your day to, to help me out. I do appreciate it. Even, even the smallest tips are always a good thing when you're first starting out, you have no idea what you're doing. I had no idea when I first started doing this, I was going to even be doing it this long. I just started doing it because I wanted to talk to people about cards. There's nobody yep. to go talk to around me right now. So having this this venue to be able to say, hey, 
uh, let's talk about baseball cards. And we all did was as kids. And what I am finding out is there's a younger generation is starting to get into the hobby, um, but it's a lot of folks around mid thirties, early forties that's doing this now because they did it in the nineties. And now it's uh, starting to pick back up again. So it's so different today and it's just great to be in, great to be a collector and it's only going to get bigger. That's why I keep telling everybody, get your channel started now. It's the future of the hobby and uh, keep growing and figuring out how to grow. So I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any more, shoot them. No, I, I got everything I needed to answer. I mean, I, like, like once again, thank you for taking the time to uh, speak with me and trying to give me a few, a, some, a few tips to try to modify a few of my videos and how to kind of drive some more traffic to the video or to my channel. So I do appreciate that. And it's always nice to hear feedback from other folks who's uh, been doing this for a while. Like I said, I'm still very green at this and uh nowhere near where i want to be at and uh any, anything helps um if you go out and try those tips and you're, you're struggling with something or you have other questions that you can't you know find find the answers to yourself shoot me the shoot me the email or we can set up another, another uh broad we can set up another meeting and go over even more go over your channel again like i did i'll give you an audit and figure out what's going right what's going wrong and we'll get it growing and we'll get it to where to where you want it to be at uh, i'm gonna be looking forward to your next video uh no pressure or anything like i said keep it natural keep it chill and do whatever you feel comfortable with because it's going to be uh over time to where you're going to be able to you know just understand what it takes and doom 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 every each video is going to be like done and over with before you know it email me if, if you have any questions and uh i'm glad you i'm glad we talked today man i'm glad you reached out to me and ask me these questions because I'm I'm excited to answer these for you guys. Well, I appreciate it. Yes, sir, Anthony. You have a good night, man. Um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to your next video. All right. No, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yep. Have a good one now.